Good morning, welcome to today's practice. Uh, I wanted to just take a second before I start to talk about um, my uh, intention for today's practice and that is to bring grounding, a sense of grounding and centeredness uh, to the practice today. And one of the things I'm gonna talk a lot about um, as a way to really get grounded in your yoga practice is to uh, work from the mat up through your legs. Uh, through um, a lot of strength in your legs and a real grounding with your feet on the mat as a way to stay grounded. Uh, now is a time um, during this crazy pandemic that a lot of people are feeling uncentered, scattered, having time feeling calm and collected. And uh, a lot of times and people think of yoga as something that can bring um, peace and calmness. And this is one way that the physical practice of yoga can do that is by finding a centeredness on your mat and uh, really grounding yourself, not only through breath and drishti, through the gaze that we talk about, but also through grounding down on your mat, through your feet and your legs. So let's practice. Kind of a child's pose. I'm gonna take a sip of water actually to start. Come to child's pose and really ground down, even in child's pose. Just letting your head drop on the mat, letting your hips sink back to the back of your mat. Press your palms into your mat and let your fingers be like ground down into your palms, especially under your thumb and first finger. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Fire up that ujjayi breathing, taking deep inhales and exhales through your nose. And right away, Uddiyana Bandha, find your belly lock, lift your belly button up to your spine. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Breathe in possibility, presence. And on the exhale, let go of anything that's not serving you anything that's in the way of being fully present right here on your mat. Come to downward facing dog. And right away, lift your leg muscles to the bone. Squeeze your quads in. Squeeze your shin muscles to the front of your legs, front of, front of your shin bones, and then turn your inner ankles back. So set your eyes to your inner ankles, Bend them back, really grounding down into the balls of your feet, what I call the toe mounds, especially the toe mound under your big toe, and then spinning your ankle, inner ankles back and pressing your outer shins in as if someone was behind you, pressing your shins toward each other gently. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, walk to the top of your mat, feet at hip width, fold, ragdoll. Lift your 10 toes, and by doing that, you really activate your toe mounds, the balls of your feet. Now plug your ankles into the mat, let your toes be light, spread them away from each other, keep them lifted. Breathe in, exhale, set your feet to the mat, toe heel your feet together, rise up to dasana, hands by your side. My toes are still lifted and grounding down through all four corners of my feet. My belly is engaged. With each breath, I'm filling up through my chest and upper back. And my hands are by my side. Palms facing forward. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, engage your leg muscles. And on the exhale, soften your face. 
relax where you can, find balance, steer a sukha with every inhale and exhalation. Soften where you can and find power where you can. So power through your legs, soften through your neck and your facial muscles. Inhale, reach up and then fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, high plank. Same thing here, engage your legs in high plank. And turn your inner ankles up toward the ceiling, sending your heels to the back of the room. Crown of the head to the front of the room. Breathe in, breathe out, low plank. Upward facing dog, press into the tops of your feet. Lift your thighs off the mat if you're able. Downward facing dog. Set your eyes. Turn your inner ankles back. Presence your feet on the mat. Presence your legs, pulling your muscles in and up. Exhale, rock or jump forward. Halfway lift, fold, extended mountain. Hands to heart center. I forgot to own the last time we were here, but I don't want to forget that. It's another great tool for grounding and to really center the nervous system. So breathe in. Uh, inhale, reach up, extended mountain, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, flat back. Hands to the mat. High plank to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Press your toe mounds into the mat. Lift your toes up. And then rebound energetically up through your sits bones. Pulling your belly in and up. One more breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Top of the mat. Walk or jump forward. Toes to touch. Halfway lift. Fold. Extended mountain. Rise up. Reach up through your fingertips. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale, low plank. Belly is lifted, leg muscles are engaged. Upward facing dog, press into the tops of your feet. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Think again about hugging those outer shins in as you roll your inner, turn your inner ankles back. Press down into your mat with your hands and feet. Lift up through your six bones. Breathe. Let it go. Walk or jump forward. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Sweep up. Exhale, fold. Flat back. Hands to the mat. Flow low. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Two breaths here, breathe in, let it go. Fill up, deep breath, empty completely. Look forward, walk or jump. Halfway lift, fold, bend your knees, thunderbolt. Send your hips to the back edge of your mat. Turn your inner ankles back right here. Ground down through all four corners of your feet. Let your toes be light. Turn your inner ankles back. Hug your outer shins in. Reach up through your fingers. Exhale and fold. Flat back. Chaturanga. 
Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Root down through both feet equally. Your back toes are at a slight angle to left toes at about 11 o'clock on the clock, 11 or 10. Turn your right leg or your right hip back and your left hip forward as you zip up your leg muscles, hug muscle to bone. Two more breaths here, find the pose, ground down, sink your hips low, reach up, hands to the mat, vinyasa to the other side, left foot forward, warrior one, strong legs, keep pressing your front knee toward 90 degrees, if you're over 90 degrees, if your knee is over your ankle, you might need a bigger stance. And then press your knee out towards your pinky toe so you're not collapsed into center. Belly is lifted. Inhale. Hands to the mat. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Get grounded here by using breath, the deep ujjayi breathing in and out through your nostrils. Using gaze, set your eyes to one physical point at the back of your mat. See it. Keep your eyes open. Inhale. Exhale. Walk or jump top of the mat. Halfway lift, fold, Utkatasana, Thunderbolt. Then hands through heart center, fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, flow low. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right foot, warrior one. One deep, full breath up. Exhale, hands right back to the mat. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, left foot, warrior one, inhale, come up, exhale, hands flow right back to the mat, flow low, through your vinyasa. Every time we come to down dog, it's an invitation to get back to presence. Back to this moment on our mats. Begin again if your mind has wandered. Reset your gaze. Fire up your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Come to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Bend your knees. Squeeze your leg muscles together. Reach your fingers up. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Flat back. Chaturanga, option to jump back, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot, warrior one, one breath in, hands to the mat, through your vinyasa to the other side, we'll meet in down dog, flow with your breath, inhales rise up, exhales flow low, breath in, breath out, Three breaths here. Lift your toes. Hug your leg muscles to the bone. Inhale. Let it go. Walk or jump, feet to hands. Halfway lift. Deep fold. Thunderbolt. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, right foot, one breath, vinyasa to the other side, big step with the left foot, take it back.
pull your quads off your knees. Fire them up. Inner ankles back. Exhale, feet to hands. Last one, halfway lift, fold, thunderbolt, inhale, reach up, exhale, and fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, right side, chaturanga. Stay with me, be willing to be here. In this moment, left foot, warrior one, even as it gets chaotic and fast. Use your breath, use your gaze to stay right here in the midst of all that's going on. Take your big toes to touch, lift your right leg up, bend your knee, Drop your heel to your bum. Set your gaze under your right arm. Stay here or flip dog. Tacking your belly button to your spine. Lifting the front of your pelvis up. Sending your tailbone to the back of your knees. Hands to heart or hand to the ceiling. Come back to high plank. Spin your heels to the right for side plank. Feet can be staggered or stacked. Strong legs, turn your inner ankles back right here no matter where they are. Hands to the mat, downward facing dog. Stagger your feet at the back of the mat so they're wide, like on train tracks. And then left foot forward, come up, crescent lunge. Lift the front of your pelvis up, pull your belly to the spine. Squeeze your leg muscles to the bone, reach your hands overhead. Then hands to heart center, twist to the left. Gaze over your left shoulder. Strong through the back right leg. Do not let that leg drop or be lazy. Fire up the leg muscles. Hug muscle to bone. Twist. Rinse on the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Up and around. Warrior two. Gaze is over your front fingers. Engage your leg muscles. Press into the mat, or down with your feet. Squeeze your muscles together. Extended side angle. By having a strong back leg, I can really find my core, pulling the front of my pelvis up. My tailbone reaches to the back of uh, my back heel on the mat, my right heel. One more breath in. Gaze at your upper hand. Exhale, hands to the mat. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Toes to touch. Take the left leg up. Bend your knee, peel open. Keep letting the back heel, lift the heel, just drop to your bum. Standing heel reaches to the back of the mat. Stay your flip dog. All 10 toes reach right facing the back of your room. Drop your head, see what you see. Keep your eyes open, inhale, exhale. Hand up to the ceiling. Spin to high plank, and then spin your heels to the left, side plank. Even with my feet staggered, I can engage my leg muscles and turn my inner ankles back, squaring out my hips more. Gaze at your upper hand, hands to the mat, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, crescent lunge. Back heel stays lifted. Put your hands on your hips. 
and think about lifting. Don't think about it. Lift using your hands as a guide. Lift the front of your pelvis up. Tailbone roots to the back of the mat or the uh, down toward the mat. Reach your hands up. Take them to heart center. Twist to the right. Keeping strong legs. Both your hips at the same plane. So you're not dumping the left hip down, opening up, but both your hips are shining straight down. One more breath here. Exhale, rinse. Inhale, up and around, warrior two. Soften all the muscles in your face. Pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Lift your belly in and up. Breathe. Breath in. Breath out. Extended side angle. Gaze up at the, your left thumb or left hand. That feels okay on your neck. Crown of the head reaches to the front of the room or the upper front corner of your room. Long spine. Breathe in. Look down. Hands to the mat. Exhale to Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Sigh. Ha. Open your mouth. Breathe out again. Inhale. Open your mouth. Ha. Seal your lips, breathe, inhale, let it go, top of the mat, feet to hands, halfway lift, fold, bend your knees, thunderbolt. Squeeze your legs together, hands to heart center, twist to the right. Squeeze your legs together as if they're one strong pillar supporting you from the hips down to the mat. Twist through your rib cage. Bottom rib spins underneath you, top ribs up and back. Option to fly your arms, left hand toward the mat, right hand up to the ceiling. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale and fold forward. Ha ha, I got some good spine cracking on that one and that twist. Good releasing my spine. Toe heel your feet to hip width. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Halfway lift. Fold deeply. Bend your knees as much as you need to to really find connection between your torso and your quads. And even with bent knees, squeeze your leg muscles to the bone. Turn your inner ankles back. Send your hips up to the ceiling. Straighten to your own degree. The straight legs are not the goal. Just finding a, the right stretch for your body is the goal. Release your bind. Thunderbolt. Toes together. Hands to heart center. Prayer twist to the left. Option to fly your arms. Otherwise, keep hands pressing together. Taking your thumbs toward heart center by twisting your bottom ribs underneath you. Left ribs up and back. Hips keep reaching to the back of the room. Crown of the head to the front of the room. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Gorilla. Feet to hip width. Slide your palms underneath. The soles of your feet. Halfway lift. Fold. Release your head. Just let it dangle off of your neck and shoulders. 
find presence right here by opening your eyes. See what you see. Set your eyes to one point, to a fixed spot. Laser beam focus. Get out of your head and on your mat. Through drishti, through breath, inhale. Exhale. Release your gorilla crow. Hands wide on your mat, fingers wide. Rocking in and out. Or staying up. Three more breaths. Optional vinyasa or meet and down dog. Breath in. Exhale. Turn your inner ankles back. Send your heels toward the back of the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your sits bones to the ceiling. Send your, your chest through your arms toward your thighs. One more breath. Full, fill up. Empty, top of the mat, halfway lift, fold, extend the mountain, eagle, right arm under, right leg over. Really press in to this ground down your standing foot into the mat, finding all four corners of your standing foot, the left foot. Hug leg muscles to your bones. Fill up. Empty. Release. Left side, eagle, left arm under. Left leg over. Find eagle in your body right now. Seeing what's possible when you stay grounded, present on your mat. Be curious about what's here for you when you discipline your mind to stay in this moment. Release, again, right side, right arm under, right leg over. After three breaths, release other side. Come into eagle. Three full body breaths. Breathe in. Let it go. Two more. And release to docile the hands by your side. Squeeze your right knee in. Take it to hip width. Peel open, option to take your toe, gaze over your left shoulder, really squeeze the standing leg muscles, your left leg, root down into the mat, squeeze the muscles all the way up your leg, grow long through the crown of your head. Come back to center, kick your right leg out, hands up overhead like extended mountain, and then sweep back, airplane. Turn your pinky toe on your lifted leg down toward the mat, squaring up your hips. Find core connection here, lifting your belly in and up. Hands to heart center, half moon. Hands to a block. The left corner of your mat or fingertips to the mat. Whatever you need to have a long spine so you're not rounded over in the spine, but you have a long spine. Long body from your lifted foot out through the crown of your head. Gaze up towards your upper hand or the ceiling. Find the fullest expression. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale and fold, ragdoll, 
Slit your feet to hip width. Grab opposite elbow with opposite arm. Sway side to side. Find stillness. Breathe, inhale. Let it go. Release your bind. Feet together. Sweep up. Hands to heart center. Standing leg raise. Squeeze your left knee in. Stay with your knee or take your toe. Peel open to the left. Gaze to the right. Really plugging all four corners of your standing foot into the mat. Lift your toes up. Let your toes be light. Spread them apart. Let your heart be light. Smile. Come back to center. Kick your legs straight out in front of you. Take it back, airplane. Finding stability through strength, through gaze, through bandhas, belly lock. Mula on the pelvic floor pulled in. Hands are uh, left, right hand to the mat, excuse me, for half moon. Peel open to the left. Plug your standing foot into the mat. Find your big toe, the ball of your foot under your big toe, press it down. And then rebound up to your fingertips and standing foot. Press down, pull in, lift up, fold, ragdoll. Nod your head, yes. Shake it now. And release your bind. Feet together, roll up to standing. Tadasana. Find your true north right here. Press down your feet into the mat, lift up to your center line through the crown of your head. Dancer, left arm forward, right foot, palm faces open to the right side of the room, thumb is up, catch your right leg on the inside of your ankle. Kick, use the strength of that right leg to kick into your right hand. And then you're not folding forward so much as just Finding that fulcrum, that balance point over your hips where you're not too far forward or too far back. Squeeze your leg muscles in, fire your belly up. Kick into your right leg and come up. Wiggle your arms. Dancer, left foot lifted. Again, find that center point. You're not reaching forward, you're balancing on top of your hips, kicking into your left foot, and then finding the balance point by reaching through your right fingertips, by keeping your shoulders square. Come up, Anjali Mudra, feet on the mat, one more time each side. Kick into your right foot. Gaze at one spot. Be right here. See one thing in front of you. Fill up. Empty. Remember your arms. Last dancer. Get into your left hand. Shine your chest to the front of the room. Reach your tailbone to the back of the room. Keep your core engaged. Come up. Hands to heart center. Tree. Take your right foot up on your left leg. Press in. Really press your right foot into your left leg, wherever it is. Press your left leg energetically back into your right foot, finding that center line, and then zipping up through core, pressing your hands together at heart center. Pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Lift your hands up, 
interlace your fingers, press your palms overhead toward the ceiling. Two more breaths here. And come down. Shake your legs out. Tree, left sole of your foot up on your right leg. Engage your leg muscles. Press your standing foot into the mat and rebound up through the crown of your head. Long spine, belly is lifted. Hands can stay at heart center or take any arm, mudra, or variation. Cactus arm, this is one I like to take and I keep pulling my shoulder blades together on my back. I can see my elbows in my peripheral vision. Pulling my shoulder blades. Reaching my fingertips up. Two more breaths. Soften the muscles in your face. Smile. And come down. Top of the mat. Toes together. Extend the mountain. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. back. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth. Ha. Again, fill up. Sigh. Ha. Step your right foot forward for triangle. Straighten your front knee, keeping a little softness in the back of your knees. So you're not totally locked out, but your leg muscles are supporting your leg in this almost straight position. Reach forward. I'm going to use a block today, but your hands can come to your leg or to the mat. You want a long spine. This is a pose where it's really important to find the strength of your legs. And turn your inner ankles back. Breathe in. Breathe out, open across your chest. Look up, inhale, exhale, look down. On an inhale, come up to standing. Square your toes to the left side of the room, spinning your right toes to the left side of the room. Hands on your hips, inhale, exhale, fold with a straight spine. Hands to the mat underneath your shoulders. Keep rocking your hips forward, squeezing your quads up off your kneecaps. Turn your inner ankles to the back of the room. Lift up your six bones. Drop your head completely. Maybe it reaches the mat. Maybe it dangles in space. Nod it, yes. Shake it, no. Halfway lift, hands to my hips, inhale all the way to standing, pyramid, my right toes step forward again, left foot steps in, square my hips to the front, inhale, long spine, exhale, hinge forward, gaze over the outside of your right leg. Squeeze muscle to bone. Lift your quads up your, off your kneecaps. Press your feet into the mat. Press down through the balls of your feet and then lift up energetically through your hips. Core is engaged. A couple more breaths. Turn your inner ankles back. Inhale, halfway lift. Twisting triangle. Fingertips to a block or to the mat. I like my block right underneath my left shoulder, so I'm not taking it all the way across to the outside. 
of my right hand. Lift your leg muscles to the bone. I have a little softness in both knees. One more breath, long spine. Exhale, remove the block, hands to the mat, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, triangle. I'm gonna set my block by my outside of my left uh, ankle. So when I come down on my triangle, it's there. I'm gonna cock my right hips back, really pressing into um, or creating like a deeper crease in the front of my left hip by reaching forward on my left hands, then coming down to the block. With strong legs, you then can focus on the upper half of your body, spinning the bottom ribs underneath you, taking the right side of your rib cage up and back. Open up across your chest. Gaze to the ceiling. Breath in, breath out, twist. Inhale and come up. Spin your toes to the right side of the room for wide facing or side facing wide leg forward fold. Reach up, hands to your heart center, fold. Halfway lift. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull your belly in and up, and then fold forward, rocking your hips up to the ceiling, bringing your hips more in line with your ankles, bringing the crown of your head toward the mat, bend your elbows, pull your torso down to the mat, release your body, halfway lift, inhale all the way up, pyramid, Left toes face forward, right foot steps in. Both my hips are squared to the front of the room. Reach up, fold. Check in with your leg muscles. Reignite them, pull your leg muscles in and up. Squeeze your quads. Lift your toes off the mat. As you press your toe mounds and your heels energetically into the mat, rebound up through your hips, halfway lift, twisting triangle, block under your right shoulder, fingertips or palm to the block, twist the opposite direction. Left ribs are twisting up and back, right ribs spinning, right ribs spinning underneath. One more breath in, reach up, exhale, flow low, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, ha, in the high plank, we'll lower down for a count of five, toward chaturanga and then to your belly, five, four, three, two, one, Lower down. One cheek to the mat. Take a deep breath in. And a long exhale. Ah. Spin your head so the other cheek is on the mat. Take a deep breath on the side. Fill up. And then let it go. Chin to center. Loading, spin your palms down, lift your legs up, turn your inner ankles up to the ceiling, flex your feet, take your pinky toes towards your ears. Inhale, lift up, exhale, stay. One more breath in, exhale and come down, cheek to the mat, toes are long behind you. Breathe in, breathe out. Ha. Again, locus, chin to the mat. Lift everything up, press into your about pelvic bone. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Lift your legs and your heels up to the ceiling. 
Lift your rib cage up off the mat and come down. Cheek to one side. Bend your knees for floor bow. We're just going to do one today. Catch your ankles, flex your toes, come up. Count of five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Let your legs go. Hands by your rib cage. Upward facing dog. Think about pressing the tops of your feet into the mat. Even if your legs don't come off, squeeze your leg muscles in and up. Even if they don't come off the mat, pull your chest with your arms. Shine open across your shoulder blade or your um, collarbones. Pull your shoulder blades together. Roll over your toes. Ah, downward facing dog. Ah, lift your hips high. Sink your heels toward the back of the mat. Come to your knees. Camel. Knees are at hip width. I'm going to turn facing you for this camel. I'm going to take my hands to my low back. I'm going to press my hips forward, supporting my low back with my hands as I walk my eyes across the ceiling. Stay here. Take your hands to your feet, to your ankles. Lift your hips up. Let your head dangle. Breathe. Inhale and come up. Exhale, hero's pose. Sit on your heels. Breath in. Breath out. One more camel. Maybe I said we were going to take one, but I just loved it so much and I want to take another. Again, knees at hip width. Lift the front of your pelvis up. Tailbone reaches to the back of your knees. Eyes walk across to the back of the room. Stay here, take your ankles, your feet. Pull your shoulder blades around your spine. Open your heart space up to the ceiling, to the room behind you. One more breath in and out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hero's pose. Breath in, breath out. <sighs> Let it go. Come on to your back for bridge. We're going to do one bridge and three wheels. If you're not taking wheel right now, stay with bridge. I will cue wheel, but you're welcome to come up and down into bridge. So inhale, come up. Present yourself again to the strength of your legs. These back bends are meant to come from the strength of your legs, not the flexion of your spine. My spine is long, my tailbone is reaching to the top, front corner of the room, and pulling my, my belly down to help find that structure, that long spine. Two more breaths. And come down. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Reset for bridge or set your hands by your ears for wheel. Roll through your spine. Come to the crown of your head. Fingertips are facing the front of the room. Push yourself all the way up. All 10 toes are facing 12 o'clock, so reset them if they splayed out. And then fire up your legs, squeeze your quads to the bone, turn your inner ankles back. Breathe and come down. Two more, reset your feet. Look at one spot on the ceiling, see what you see. Pull your belly down, reset your hands. Lift up, bridge or wheel. Three breaths here, wherever you are. Find strength to press down, pull in, lift up. 
and then roll down. One more. If you can, you must, as Baron says. Breathe in, breathe out, reset. Be willing to be right here in the fire. Inhale, go up. Do not let yourself out of this moment by thinking about other things. Be here in the sensation, in the swirl of the storm. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, come down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Feet together, knees out wide. Energetically press your feet together in the Supta Baddha Konasana. Spread your toes out, so I'm pressing the balls of my feet together and my toes are then pulling away from each other. So my feet are flexed. Inhale, exhale. See how that changes this pose for you. A lot of times this is a very passive pose, but it really has changed it for me to think about it in the last several weeks since I took a class where they cued this for this to be a really energetic pose by pressing your feet together, pulling, pulling my belly down to my spine. Three more breaths. Bring your knees in together, hug in, find happy baby, grab the outside edges of your feet and press your thumbs into the top of your feet, pressing your toe mounds under your big toe up to the ceiling, pulling your pinky toe down toward the mat, squaring up your feet as if you're going to stamp your footprints on the ceiling. One of the things I love about taking other people's yoga classes is hearing a cue that I haven't heard before and how can this open up a pose in a whole new way for me. Something brand new to think about. I've been doing this practice over 14 years now and I'm still not tired of it. I don't find it boring. Every time I practice, I find something new in my body, some new way of being in the pose of settling my mind and of really focusing. Constantly beginning again from right here, from this moment. Hug your knees in. Send your legs up to the, over your hips, heels reaching for the ceiling. Hands behind your head, lift your chest and shoulders off the mat. Drop your right foot to a hover, press up from your chest, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feet overhead. Pad your sacrum with your hands. Reach your heels up to the ceiling, straight over your hips, and then send them 30% forward. Lift your chest and shoulders off the mat. Drop your heels 30% more. Drop them to a hover. All the way up. Flex your toes. Put your heels together, toes out wide. Drop your heels 30%. We'll um, pulse it together, five, four, three, two, one. Drop them 30% more, lift your chest and shoulders up, look to your heels, five, four, three, two, one. Take them to a hover, five, four, three, two, one. Keep pulsing all the way up, high in. Drop your knees to the right, gaze over your left shoulder. Just a quick twist here. Rainbow your legs up and over the opposite direction. Gaze to the other side. I think I said I was gazing to the right. I gotta gaze to the left. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna overthink it. Come back to center. It's rock and roll. Actually, let's take a few yogi bicycles. Knees 
overhead. I don't want to rob you of all this good core work. We're going to take 10 slow ones. So send your left heel to the front of the room. Right leg is at a 90 degree bend. It's not coming any closer than your hips. Twist. Twist. Pull your belly down to the mat. Twist. Twist. Shoulders and head are off the mat. Twist. Twist. So it's five, four, three, two, one. Ten fast ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High again. Rock and roll three times along the length of your spine. One, two, on the third time we'll stay up in boat pose. Three, Navasana. Again, think about squeezing your legs together into one long column. Fire up your legs, bring your toes towards your face for five, four, three, two, one. Optional final vinyasa, otherwise, Straight to down dog. I'm going straight to down dog today. I'll meet you there. Lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Bend your knee, peel open. Get a good stretch across the front of your right hip. Then bring it back up to center. Step that leg, right leg forward for half pigeon. Ten breaths. I'm keeping my back foot flexed, my left foot, my toes are flexed under my heel, and I'm keeping my leg muscles engaged on my back leg. I'm keeping my core muscles lifted to create space for the fold forward. Six more full body breaths. Let your head drop but stay fully present by seeing what you see, the mat, the center of your forehead through closed eyes. Two more breaths. Breath in, exhale, inhale and come out. Bring your left leg around on top of your right leg for a double pigeon. Flex all 10 toes back to the front of the room. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold forward to your degree. I'm flexing my feet to really uh, take care of my knee joints here. Not causing any extra strain on my knees. Both my hips are firmly grounded on the mat. Two more breaths. Keep my left foot in front for half pigeon. I'm going to send my right leg back, finding flexion in my back foot again. Toes are tucked under. My left thigh is in line with the left side of my mat. My hip is on the mat or on the block. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. You may be on forearms, head is on the block. Wherever you've landed, it's just perfect. You're right where your body needs to be today. So be willing to be right there in this moment. Six more full body breaths.
on an inhale, come up. Now we spin the, or sweep the right leg around on top of the left for full pigeon. Double pigeon. Pigeon. Flex your toes back to the front of the room toward your knees. Full. Coming forward to your degree. First with a long spine and then letting your head just surrender to gravity. Crown of the head toward the mat. So your hips are grounded into the mat. Feel the mat underneath you wherever you've landed. The floor, the mat. Feel your room and this, or feel your body in the space in this room. Find grounding right here. stretch. So I'm going to take my left foot in, fold over my long right leg. I'm going to still find softness behind my right knee. My leg is not locked out. I'm reaching with a long spine, crown of the head at the front of the room first, and then folding forward. You can make this more active by holding onto your foot. Bending your elbows and pulling your torso down toward your right leg. Inhale and come up. Other side. Left leg long, right leg in. Square half your tor torso right over your left leg. Fold. Make it as active or passive as you want by grabbing hold of your leg or your foot, pulling your torso down with a long spine, then rounding forward. And then inhale, come up. Seated forward fold, folding over both legs, both my six bones firmly rooted into the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Soften the back of your knees, but engage your legs. Turn your inner ankles down toward the mat. Inhale and come up. Reverse plank, fingers facing forward. Press into your hands and your feet. Lift your hips up. Turn your inner ankles back. Squeeze your leg muscles to the bone. Turn, push your, yeah, push your outer shins in toward each other. Press them together and come down. Fish, pad your sacrum with your hands. Come on to your elbows. Legs are long. Drop the crown of your head to the back of the room. Maybe the crown of your head finds the mat behind you. Keep opening up across your rib cage. Squeeze your legs together. Slowly lower it down. Shoulder stand, waterfall, headstand, take an inversion, five breaths. Five breaths, come to plow from shoulder stand. 
Otherwise, stay where you are from headstand or handstand, take child's pose. Three breaths here. Knees to ears pose. Flex your feet. Toes are still reaching toward your head. Roll down. Finding each vertebrae as you lower your hips onto the mat. Hug your knees in. Send your left leg down the mat. Bring your right leg across your body over to the left, supine twist. I'm going to flex my feet even here in supine twist. Finding some energy in my legs. Being really intentional even in these final poses. Creating my pose from the mat up even here. Bring your right knee in, give it a squeeze. Send it down long on the mat. Squeeze your left knee in. Supine twist. Take it across to the right. Gaze to the left. Flex your toes. Your bottom half of your body can be really active here. The top of your body from the waist up just melts into the mat. Let your eyes be soft in their sockets. Relax all the muscles in your face, your tongue, your cheeks, your forehead, your brow. Relax your throat. Find a drishti point. Come back to center. Squeeze into a tiny ball. And release to Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, knees out wide. One hand on your torso, one hand on your heart space. Feel your body beneath your fingertips, right here in this moment. On your mat, in this space, in this moment in time, right here. This moment is your whole life. So make a conscious choice about how you want to be here in it. Inhale, fill up. Let it go. <sighs> open out to Shavasana. Legs long, feet opened out to the sides of the room. Surrender to gravity. Surrender to presence. Stay fully here in your body, your breath, through a gentle gaze, through closed eyes to the center of your forehead. strings and hips, back of your 
shoulders, your arms, your hands, back of your head. Let them be gently supported by the ground beneath you. Find gratitude for your body, for your practice, for this moment of your life. Press yourself up to a seat at the front of your mat, eyes closed, legs crossed, hands at Anjali Mudra, pressing your fingertips together, fingers together, heart center. Take a deep, full breath in, and a clearing breath out. A little seal clasp with one arm. Inhale. Ah. Lift your thumbs to your forehead center. Press in. We pray for eyes that are open, eyes that can truly see. Together, let us bow forward and say, Namaste. Good job, Yogi. I hope you enjoyed that practice. I'll see you on your mat next time you join me. Have a great day.